All right, guys, we are actually in Hyrule here, and uh, we're going to continue on with our Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom uh, Let's Play. And uh, in the last episode, quite a bit of things happened. I don't know if I can really explain it, but we basically jumped down from the sky and ended up here in Hyrule. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm definitely still quite the noob in regards to trying to explain what we're doing in this game. But uh, that's okay, we'll figure it out eventually. So, one thing we need to do, uh, I gotta remember my controls here now. If I hit the minus button, I think we need to go here to the Kingdom of Hyrule, this little flashing orb. I think that's gonna tell us exactly where we need to go and what we need to do. I think that's where we meet up with maybe Zelda? I'm not sure. Uh, if we ever needed to go back to the sky, to the kingdom, uh, well, to the uh, sky map, we probably could. Uh, whoa, okay, so as you can see here, we can actually go back. Okay, what's the adventure log say? Uh, so it looks like we have to go to the Kingdom of Hyrule. So at the Temple of Time, you saw the... How do I select? There we go. So at the Temple of Time, you saw the Master Sword vanish into a mysterious light. A white dragon then rose into the sky, parting the sea of clouds. You sure... You're, you heard Princess Zelda say, Link, you must find me. Head to the land below and look for clues to her whereabouts. There's no faster way to do that than to dive bravely from the Sky Island. Yikes. Okay, so uh, where are we going here? Oop, wrong button. It'll take me a minute to um, go to the map. And that's where we want to go, I think. I don't really know what's in the area. Should be one of those things where we kind of explore, but I am not going in that cave again. Okay, we near died there. Ooh. I think we are... Where am I going? Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, looks like they disappeared off of the map. What is going on here? Oh my god. This is a huge map. Um... Okay, we're going to go to where it was showing originally, see what we can find, and then we can backtrack if we actually need to. Let's get all these fire fruits. Soldier's Broadsword. Nice. Now, if only I could get rid of this uh, shield. Shield looks god-awful. Running around with basically a big giant boulder. Um... choose a weapon here again. Arrows. I am losing all of my weapons. Uh, okay, there's a way to bind things, I think. That's not what I wanted to do. Um...
construct horn. And then drop that. And then use it to my rusty sword. There we go. That actually worked a little bit better. Now, how do I change my shield? We'll go for that shield. We'll change it up. <laughs> Anything else around here? No. I don't think I want to fight that. So I'm going to stay over here a little bit. That's the last thing I want to do is to get into any kind of nonsense there. There's a road. I'm hoping the map will open up with time. That doesn't look like a friendly camp. Although, it does have the correct sigil on the flags, so maybe, just maybe, we'll be okay going in there. Okay. No way! Link? Mr. Link? Is that really you? Where have you been? No one's seen you or the Princess Zelda since you went under the castle to investigate the gloom. And that's when the castle rose into the air. Everybody's been so worried about both of you. Pura, or Pura has barely slept. She's been trying to figure out where you two went. Oh. At the moment, Pura should be in that building with the telescope. Please hurry there now. She'll want to know that you're all right. All right, so we are going to go into that little telescope area. All right, look out landing. Okay, I think we were supposed to come here. We'll talk to some other people there in a minute. We're going to go up here to the uh, telescope room. Doc looks busy. What? Who is that? That hair, those eyes. Da, da, Doc! Oh. Doc! Pura! The swordsman! The swordsman has returned! Uh, fix your glasses. Okay. Now where have you been? Linky, you're not a ghost, are you? Hey. That looks interesting. Phew. One step at a time. What exactly happened? Okay. So I'm assuming that we're telling our story. So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy which suddenly reanimates. Then Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. 
Then, later, you wake up on a sky island, saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. You get the Pura Pad from an unusual creature, and learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Ravu. The Master Sword disappears. You hear the princess's voice, and find your way here. What? Then? What? Are you saying you came from up there? This Raru you met. I think that's what the first king of Hyrule was named. Hmm. Are they one and the same? So much of this doesn't make sense yet. But I'm certain that mummy you found under the castle must be related to the... Upfable? Upfable? I don't know what that means, but okay. Hmm. The castle rising up. The ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. Ah. And then, there's the most important detail of all. You're sure you heard the princess speak to you? And she gave you a clear message to find her? If that's truly was the princess, then that means she's alive. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help. Mm -hmm. That settles it. I know you only just returned, Link, but I need you to meet with the research party up at the Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you two. The captain in charge of the search is named Haas. Work with him and find the princess as quickly as you can. Yes. I know that mummy may still be lurking somewhere around there, which is concerning to say the least, but we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. I'm counting on you, Linky. Okay. Where are we going here on the map? Ooh. Okay, Pura. The highest authority on ancient technology. She has served Princess Zelda's family for much of her life and has worked with the princess to research the Zonai civilization. Most recently, they started the investigation into the outbreak of the gloom. She has used herself as a test subject in her experiments, despite being over a century in age. She reversed her aging to the extreme and actually looked like a child not too long ago. Okay. So, we need to go up to the castle area and search for things. Okay. Should I look around here before we go forward? Let's see what's actually around here. I feel like there could be some things down here that could be useful. Some things somewheres. Ooh, zonite, arrows. Oh, <gasps> wait a minute. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Joshua needs that for her chasm research. Don't touch any of it without her permission. I'll get in big trouble if you do. Hey, hey, you. Do you have any idea how worried we've been? Robbie. Oh. So that's the arm, huh? I overheard Pura talking about it. Hmm. I see, yeah. It's pretty weird, all right. Hmm. Nope. Now's not the time for distractions. That's got to wait until later. Anyways, I hear you've got yourself the Pura Pad now. <sighs> you know that Pura Pad of yours can get a lot more powerful. I know it's a real potential. I've got big plans for that device, but first I need help Josha with her investigations into the depths. But then, oh yes, then I will head back to the lab in Hatino Village to resume my research. So once I'm able to finish up here, you should join me there. Okay. That's cool. I guess I can't touch any of this stuff. That's neat. That's Roby. Who's this? Mm. Those balloon things that never fe that fell from the sky are called Zonai devices. There's still so much we don't know about them. 
but trust my boss Pura to take the things we know so little about and turn into something useful. She's the sharpest person in high role, a creative genius. Can I? Nope. All right. We can't do any of that, so that's cool. What is this? Just a table. Okay. Who's this? How should I build it? Oh. Sorry, I'm a bit busy with work right now. Uh. Link? Wow, what a relief. I was seriously worried about you. Where have you been anyway? Uh, sorry for the excitement. I'm just happy you're back. Oh. I've been sorting out whether or not I can build a mini stable in looking in Lookout Landing. Lester has come here to care for the horses, so I'd help him out a lot if he had a proper stable. The project would likely take me a while to complete, oh. but once it's done, you'll be able to take full advantage, Link. I mean, do you want me to build it for you? I can probably put it together in like five seconds. Um, okay, what else is around? Hey, welcome! It's your first time at my store, right? It's the only place to shop here in Lookout Landing. I know it looks a little thrown together, but I stock a nice selection of goods. I ran a store back in my hometown, so I hope you'll support my place here. Ah. I came from a small fishing town called Laurelin Village. Laurelin. <laughs> I get it, because it's a lore. Okay. It's way to the south of the south eastern corner of Hyrule. It used to be a place, peaceful place too. Mm. Then the pirates arrived. I used to run the village general store, but then the pirates arrived. I had to grab all the goods I could carry and run. I, I don't know how it's going there now. Oh. I hope I can return someday, but for now, I'll just keep selling as much of the stuff as I can. Please, let me know if, you're, if there's anything you'd like. Anything you need? Sure, ah. let's buy some stuff. Oh, she wants to buy my stuff. Wait, no, this is her stuff. Ooh. Oh, she's got some goods. She's got some armor. Oh, I've already got those. Cooking. Mm, no thanks. I'm not interested. Goodbye. Although... Ooh. How many rubies? 130. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. The Highland Hood. And <laughs> that's pretty neat. Okay. Hey, there's a horse. Can I steal it? Hmm. So, you're this link that people keep talking about. Sounds like you're pretty tough. I'd like to teach you about combat when this is all done. Uh. Hmm? What? Is that really you? Link, you've returned? It's such a relief to see that you're safe. Oh, let me introduce myself. I'm Greylands, head of the Monster Control Crew. It's our job to keep monsters at bay as best as we can throughout Hyrule. But aside from that, we've been assisting in the search for Princess Zelda, whose whereabouts are unknown. Oh. I'm glad you've returned safely, but I am gravely concerned about the princess. I'm holding out hope that the Monster Control Crew brings back good news. They're searching the castle for her now. Oh. Pura has given us orders to search throughout and thoroughly around Hyrule Castle. That's where we last had contact with Princess Zelda, so it seems the best starting point in the search. Anyways, Pura enlisted our monster control crew to help out. Oh. Yes, it's a small group of volunteers you've who've joined together to defend the people from the onslaught of the monsters. However, Pura has asked for our aid with a more pressing matter now. She's asked us to help in searching the castle. Uh. I was just debating whether or not to add reinforcements, but if you're joining the search link, I can keep our forces on standby. If you head to the castle, you'll run into Haas and the advanced party, who will probably be just as surprised to see you. Okay. I bet you I can't get any kind of horses. Oh, that's cool. Look at the animation on the horse. 
<laughs> I think you've caused quite a stir since your arrival here. Ha! <laughs> People do fuss, don't they? If this is your first visit, talk to that soldier in the center of our little fort. Or were you hoping to register a horse? We're still getting things together on that front, so I'm afraid you'll have to hold your horses a while longer. <laughs> okay, got it. There's a soldier in the middle of the town. Or the fort, rather. Let's talk to him. Link! Glad to have you back. My name is Scorpus. I have been charged with managing Lookout Landing. If you have any questions about this place, any at all, come right to me. I will answer as best as I can. Ah. Now please allow me to open up the emergency shelter. The emergency shelter. You. Hey, it's me. Open up. down there ah. this underground vault used to be an emergency shelter for the royal family now we're making constant use of it feel free to make yourself at home in our vault use any equipment you want all right well let's take a look see what you got what's down here oh link right you really are that Link guy, aren't you? I heard folks talking about you, and your face matches the one on the poster. Oh, sorry. You wanted a bed, yeah? You can go ahead and take whatever empty bed you like. Uh. Nap, and s <laughs> Nap and sleep talking is practically audible here, so you will probably want a bed a little farther from them. Okay. Okay. The Chasms. Oh. Okay. Ah. Let's see. Do I want to sleep? Absolutely not. Let's pray to whatever this is. You have conquered the shrines and claimed their light's blessings. I can offer you great power, but you do not have four light of blessings. Seek out the shrines scattered across Hyrule and face more challenges. Return to me once you have claimed four lights of blessing. Okay, so I need four lights of blessing. What is he doing? Hmm. Oh, it's you, Link. Pardon me for being lost in my work here. This map tends to get all my attention. Are you interested in the different peoples of Hyrule and where they live? That's my entire field of study. When I'm out on a deployment with the Monsters Control crew, I spend hours pouring over our maps. As such, I'm the most knowledgeable in Lookout Landing about Hyrule's various peoples and their towns and villages. Hmm. Aside from us Hylians, there are four other peoples in Hyrule. The Rito, the Gorons, the Zora, and the Gerudo. Each live in a different area and have their own unique traits, whether it's soaring the sky or feasting on rocks. Oh. We Hylians also live in villages that reflect our unique cultures. The Shikai are renowned for their wisdom. In fact, our most prolific researchers are among them. The leaders of Lookout Landing, Pura, is from the Shikai tribe. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't want to spoil all that yet. I want to figure them out as we go. Traveler's sword, okay. Take that one too. I'll take whatever I can get down here. Ooh, what's that? Read the Zone Eye Survey Team's three big ideas. No, I'm good. Look at all the dust. Oh. Hey, I know that face! And any face I know is the face of a friend. Please, Link, help yourself to anything in the shelter. It's all yours to use as you see fit. But don't you dare go making a mess of this place and kicking up dust. 
I spend so much time cleaning in here, and there's still endless amounts of dust. Where does all this dust even come from, anyway? I don't know, man. Okay, let's go back up. Okay. Let's get out of here. Can I jump over the top, I wonder? Oh, I can. That's cool. <laughs> okay, let's go north. We've got to find this uh, this crew of people. Crystal refinery. Oh. Don't need that right now. Okay, let's go north. Let's meet up with the uh, the crew that's searching. Ooh, that has a big different feel. Ho. Ooh. I don't like the thunder and lightning. That's nuts. What? Am I gonna get hit by the What? <laughs> How did I die? What the actual shit? Um... Is it because I had a sword? I wonder? Well, so far I didn't get hurt by any lightning, so... Traveler Spear, okay. Claymore. Ooh, I got a lizard. Okay, maybe I can cook him. Okay. Kynonis Shrine. Let's go into the shrine. <laughs> I don't know what's in here, but I bet we'll figure it out. So, I guess when it's thunder and lightning out, I guess I can't carry around a sword. I gotta switch to something else. 
But I wonder if I can fuse, I wonder if I should fuse um, something to that stick. Combat training. Okay, so I gotta fight this thing. Oh. The shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instructions. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create the opening that you can use to strike back. Target enemy. ZL to target. Okay, that's why it's not working for me. <laughs> Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. So, okay, ZL jump in the back pedal. <laughs> You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield. Okay. Oh. That one's too big to use. Build up your power and then release it to unleash a charged attack. Catch your enemies in this motion and damage them. Oh. Okay. Your mastery of these techniques has earned you access. Proceed within. Okay, I'm gonna get all these items first.
Oh my. Okay, we'll take the rusty sword. Don't need that, actually. Uh... There we go. <laughs> Give it a little bit of extra, maybe. I don't know. What's in here? Ooh, Zonite Sword. Uh, ooh. Let's drop the tree branch. Okay, so this is one. So we need to get four of these in order to go back to the little shrine. I apparently have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Okay, so now we got to go back out. Now the only question that I have now is when I go outside, am I going to get hit by lightning because I use that shield? A rusty shield. I hope not. Oh! Yeah, ha ha! You found me! I didn't even know I was looking for you. He's saying, Link, is that really you? When did you get out of the castle? I'm so ashamed I've been on watch duty this whole time and I didn't see you at all. Mm. I've really got to get serious about my training. Captain Hawes doesn't know that you're back, does he, Link? You should report to him right away. He's on the gate tower at the top of the hill, past the lower gates. Mm. I'm sure the captain will be just as surprised to see you as I was. Okay. I hope I don't get hit by lightning. I don't know if I really want to come up here. <laughs> Can I? I can't. 
than that? I'm gonna have to climb it, aren't I? Ooh. Who's there? Ooh. Hey, this area is off limits while we conduct our search for Princess Zelda and Link. You can't just come wandering in here like that. Ooh. Link? It's you? I'm sorry, I had no idea that you had returned. Wait, if you're back, then does that mean we don't need to search party anymore? Huh? You should go talk to Captain Hawes. He's leading search efforts here from the first gatehouse up ahead. You'll find it at the very end of this road. Okay. First things first, I'm going to take that mushroom because... That looks like it's something that's important. Probably not even supposed to be here yet. Whoa. Link? No, it can't be him. I can't allow anyone past oh. here. This area is restricted only for those involved in the search for Princess Zelda. This is by direct order of Captain Hawes. If you insist on passing, you'll need permission from the captain. You should be in the first gatehouse up at the end of this road. Turned up nothing in here that would help us find the princess, unfortunately. Huh? You're that s you're a spitting image of Link. I bet Captain Haas saw you. He'd be startled. He might even fall off the gatehouse over there. What's in here? Anything in here? Ooh, a traveler's shield. I bet that's gonna be good. Oh! Didn't mean to break my sword. Always just arrows. It's never anything other than arrows. Oh. 
Did you come up here to look for Princess Zelda too? Yeah, me and a few others had the same idea. We all owe a great deal to the princess. We were hoping to help anyways, mm. but the captain is way up on the top of the gatehouse here. It doesn't look like he's coming down anytime soon. We just showed up without being asked, so uh, be best to stay out of the way until we can help somehow. All right. I just want to look around here just to see. <laughs> That's the downside of having a light on you guys. Sometimes you can't see exactly what, what's going on. Um, let's look around on the other side. Ooh, mushroom. Okay. not the right um there we go Okay, so now we're up into this gate here. I don't know who's around and who's not, but let's see what's in here. I could have just walked through the front door. That's actually pretty funny. Good. A soup ladle. That is my new weapon. All the weapons, swords, spears, claymores, you name it, suddenly decayed. I've explored many regions in search of weapons that might still be intact. I found none. At this point, I'd be surprised if there were any intact weapons in Hyrule. Oh. What is that? A torch. Um...
There we go. I attached it to the uh, <laughs> to the tree. Okay. Um, let's get back to a weapon here that we can use. This is where I'm supposed to be. So he's up there somewhere. Um, I gotta use the... Oh, he's like way up. Okay. I didn't want to do that. That's go away, buddy. Okay. Is there any more logs here? Let's see if we can get up to the top here. That's insane. You can build a big giant bridge. <laughs> Aww. I finished up the search around here and I'm ready for my next instructions. But Captain Haas is uh, kind of on the edge. I don't want to bother him. Keep searching. Who's this guy? Hmm. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Huh? Mm? Link? Is that you? You're alive? And all in one piece? It looks like? Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe too? What a relief! Mm? Hang on, you're alone. But you heard the princess calling out to you and you're here to help with the search. I see, uh, maybe I don't. I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. I'm relieved to see you come up here and help us out, though. We need some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. Our work carries on, but 
We've been a bit dead in the water. Oh. Captain, it's Princess Zelda. Hmm? Princess Zelda, is she safe? Okay, come on. Where are you going now? Hmm? Wait, what? Hmm? You saw that too, Link? You saw the Princess Zelda turn light and fly off, right? How strange. This is an emergency situation. Hmm. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Pura know about this as soon as possible. Considering that we just witnessed, I think it makes sense for us to withdraw, but it will take a bit. Please, you must tell Pura about what happened here as soon as possible. All right, uh, I'm gonna search here, see what's around here first. Anything up here? So Zelda has gone into the sky. That is absolutely nuts. I don't think I should drop down. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, can we fast travel? I think we can. Okay. Uh, can we not fast travel? Uh, we cannot fast travel. Really? I can't fast travel there. Okay. Can I? Nope. I cannot fast travel. Okay. Brutal. We gotta travel that entire way. Wow. That's not really that far, I guess, if people look at it. It's just right there. Quiet you or I'll hit you with my ladle. If anybody knows how to travel faster, let me know. I would greatly appreciate it.
over here now. Lovely. Pip. Cooking pot. Missed it. A wooden mop? Yeah! Well, that wild boar is gone. Oh, it's still here. Okay, we got that seared steak. That's all I wanted to get. It's pretty neat, though. Sorry, guys. I had to. I had to go get it. That's the joys of being able to play an open-world game. There's no right or wrong on how you're playing it. Okay. Hey, I thought I left that gate open. Whoa, what was that? Oh, it's a tree branch. I don't want a tree branch, come on. Open the door. Hmm. Link, did you find anything? What? You're telling me the Princess Zelda was at the castle and then she transformed into light and flew off? I've got to say, your stories are always so wild, but if you're telling me that's what you saw, then I've got to believe it. Hmm. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the up... fail... for now, at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we'll pick up clues about where she flew off to as we look around. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you still got the Pura pad, right? Can I see it for a sec? Hmm? It's a little worse to wear, but seems to be functioning fine. Map, 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 aha! <gasps> oh right, I forgot that before we can look at our overall map of Hyrule, we need to add map data from right around Lookout Landing. And for that, we need the Skyview Tower. Joshua. Josa? Joshua? I don't know. What's your status on the Skyview Tower right now? <laughs> Let me see. Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. 
<laughs> that is some janky looking uh, structures. Ah. Oh, but the travel point is still undergoing final adjustments. Hmm. That makes sense. Sounds like I better get cracking. Mm -hmm. Sorry about this, Linky. I'll fix it up quick. So just hang tight. In the meantime, why don't you rest up? You must be pretty tired. The emergency shelter is just the spot for you. It has free beds and a kitchen, so is well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. If you want more info, ah. talk to the soldier who's watching over everything from the center. If you need clothing for your travels, mm -hmm. you should go to Mub's shop. I'll be over by our Skyview Towers, so when you're ready to head out, just let me know. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can actually go get some clothes. Walking around completely open like this is kind of weird. Let's see if we can get some clothes. Do, 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 do. All right, let's see, what can we get? I really want that hood. Uh. Yes. Oh. What? <laughs> All right, we need some more rubies. Lookout Landing. Skyview Tower. Hmm. If I put this here and that goes there. No, no, that's not quite it. Uh -huh. That should do it. Ah. Hey, Link, you all set? I just wrapped up here myself. The travel point is working fine now. Or it will be once you do your part. Hey! We're ready. Pull the switch. Hey. Ooh, there's a switch. Um You're not going to shoot me out of that thing, are you? All of the sky towers have now been activated. Yeah. Okay, Link, your turn. Mm -hmm. Go hold the pure pad over that terminal. Okay, so they're not going to shoot us out. <laughs> That's good. So let me guess, I gotta find these. Huh. All right, the Skyview Tower is now active on your map. That means that you can now use this travel point to get here at any time instantly. The same is true for every Sky Tower you add to the Pure Pad. <laughs> Impressive, right? Ah. But Skyview Towers are about more than just traveling quick. Their primary function is to survey the area. One more, simply put, to make a map. The Purapad works with the Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly to your map. Uh -huh. Pretty great, hmm? hmm? Only thing is, you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill, and nobody here had what it takes. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested this out yet. We needed you. Which brings us to this. 
The Paraglider. This item gives you, given to you by Pura, lets you ride the wind and glide through the sky. Press B in midair to activate it. Mm -hmm. Right. It's showtime. Let's start with a test scan. <gasps> now, it's time for our very first test. Launch, I mean. Our first test, just step over there onto the circle and find me afterward, all right? Huh. I'll be observing from the research lab. Yeah. When the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. And I'll also need you to update your map with the places where the up veil, upheaval, I don't know how to pronounce that, I apologize, has wreaked the most havoc. Best of luck. Okay, so examine. Ooh. This is scary as... What is going on here? <laughs> Alright, shoot me out. Woohoo! Look at that! Oh, he's scanning it. Okay. Oh. Sweet. Surface map updated. Sky map was updated. Nice. Might as well go over to this one here and see if we can get this tower. Oh, don't tell me. I cannot. I can't open the glider! So I died. Um, <laughs> ouch. I hit a tree and broke every bone in our body. Oh my. Okay, let's try this again. So the glider... Island uh, tomorrow. And I had to see a message in regards to that. Okay, let's try not to die this time. <laughs> Okay, so it's updating the map. Okay, so we don't want to glide just yet because we will die.
Okay. We landed successfully. <laughs> we did not die. Welcome back! That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. So, how did it go? Did you get a proper map scan? Good. That map is crucial to our search. There's a Skyview Tower in every region of the world. You'll want to take a point of visiting them all. Right. Let's talk about the... A feeble? A feeble? It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of the strange phenomena have been coming in from Oliver Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. The first report comes from Hebra to the northeast. Sorry, northwest. Next up is Elden in the northeast. The Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally, the Naru in the east. The phenomena are concentrated in these four regions. Yes. I can't say for certain, but I've got the nagging suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into the phenomena. Uh -huh. Hey, Doc. I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village over in Hebra recently. Hmm. That's pretty weird, yeah? Generally speaking, I don't put much stock in hearsay. But this does sound like it's worth looking into. Mm -hmm. Oh, and before I forget, Link, we've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in the search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about the going-ons in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. Okay. If you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help out in some way, too. I'll be here directing a variety of investigations into the Afevil's many chasms and new ruins. I'll also be looking into different villages. Someone somewhere might know what's happened to Princess. Yeah. I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomena that are troubling regions around Hyrule, Link. We'll find Princess Zelda one way or another. Okay. <sighs> Why is she looking for goggles? Ah. Sorry, can't talk now. There's something I gotta discuss with the goggles right away about our research into the chasms. Let's talk later. Okay, so I think this is where we are going to end uh, this episode. If you guys enjoyed the episode, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and post your comments. I would like to hear from you guys what you guys think. Also as well, what do you think about me gliding for the first time and crashing into a tree? <laughs> Not a very good flyer. But uh, take care, have a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Tears of the Kingdom. Peace!